walking the edge already. But cool, good stuff. I'm making this video to show you what my eight month old RC Big Big Rack switchgrass looks like and just tell you quick how I planted it. Um, so this stuff right here is right now up to about my my knees, maybe my waist. This was planted in April of 2022. Today is December 11th of 2022. So I got some pretty good growth here in the first year. So basically what I did here is in April, we had a pretty decent dry spring here. We came in here with our disc and we disc this back and forth for darn near an hour till it looked like a garden. Now, in the years prior here, this little area that's planted in switchgrass was just kind of like this grown up stuff that hadn't been touched, sprayed, worked in probably 20 years. So. There's a lot of trash, a lot of weeds, a lot of thistles, a lot of grasses. So we dissed, we dissed, we dissed, we dissed for about an hour. Got some nice black dirt up. And uh, what we then did is we came in here and just hand broadcasted the RC Big Rock into the ground and then followed right up with a color packer and packed it all in to get some good seed to soil contact. And right after that happened, came in here with my ATV sprayer and sprayed a good dose of simazine on it and that just that all happened within a few hours worked it broadcast it compacted it sprayed it and then within a day or two uh we had a decent rain here so simazine actually needs to be rained in for it to you know properly you know wash down into the soil and begin protecting against the, the broadleaf weeds so did that in april late april and then Mid to late May, came in here with my actual zero turn lawnmower and went to mow it. Uh, it's very important that you mow this stuff in its first year. Uh, actually that mowing, there was darn near nothing here that because that simazine really did a good job keeping everything back. So mowed it in mid-May, mowed it in mid-June, and then it was about, you know, shin high of just weeds, velvet leaf, thistles, grasses, that looked like anything but weeds. Uh, did the same thing in mid-July, and again, about knee-high. Uh, it just looked like nothing but weeds, thistles, velvet leaf. And then early August, I came back in here one more time, mowed it down. Each time you mow it down to about five inches, or zero turns about five, five and a half inches when it's all the way up. Um, and all summer, again, it doesn't look like anything. It looks like grasses, it looks like weeds, it looks like thistles. Um, doesn't look like anything. So right now, what I'm standing in December 11th, 2022. The last time I was down here and in this area with the lawnmower was the first week of August when I mowed it. So first week of August to December here, that's about, I don't know, 18 to 24 inches of growth. Uh, it worked well. This is the second year I've done this. This is the first year I've used RC Big, Big Rock switchgrass. Uh, if you look way over there, that lighter stuff, where are we here? Right there, up there. That is Cave and Rock, Cave and Rock switchgrass. I planted that April of 2021, so this would be the second year growing. I uh, did it the exact same way. Worked it, broadcasted the seed, compacted it, sprayed it, it rained, and then mowed it four times in 2021. So um, this is working out well. I'm very happy with it. 
Uh, my plan here is I'm just kind of, you know, making a little border around my property here. Just so that the deer, you know, have a visual screen and an edge to walk. I don't know if you can tell, but all throughout the gun season and bow season, they're already walking that edge. It's an edge, the deer like the edge, and they absolutely already walking it. And they were betting on the edge of the uh, two-year-old cave and rock up there all fall. So that's how I do it. I know they say some people, you're supposed to chemically control the year before. Um, I've not done that. I've just basically tilled up stuff that's been, you know, wild for the last 20 years. And I don't know if I'm lucky or what, but it's worked two years in a row now. And I plan on continuing to do this. So any questions, leave me a comment and I will answer them the best I can. Thank you. Have a good day. Walking the edge already.